what's going on guys and girls hard drive oh, you can read it well, this 447 has not been touched other than the conversion to 27 megahertz well like all the updates including max mod we can push some power this is a clean and mean I have a great open place to mount it I have the channel meter set up so you can read the SWR when you like to key the mic gotcha I, I, yeah, no meters in line, guys. Get an analyzer ohm meter. Become one of my customers. Learn what to do and how to do it. Uh, and I'm loving my 655, getting a lot of compliments. And I got your PM today. I believe it was on my phone. About 37 miles truck to truck. It's pretty decent. Now, you're, now here, here's something. Your 490, when I'm done, is going to outperform the 655. But here's the catch. You won't be able to have the same contacts with the 490 as you can with my tune on the 655. Because it's the receiver. I'll, I'll get your receiver clean, tight, less noise on the 490 and this one too. But because of the ability of it receiving and transmitting the way that it does, because you have that receiver, you can do it. Plus the filtering on the AF, you know. Let alone, you're not no spring chicken. You've been doing this a long time. And you know how to keep all your connections clean. Set your SWR. You know what's up. Much appreciated. Respect. So, if any of you guys got one of these. If you're looking for that... Meter baiter bullshit. I'm the wrong guy. You want better performance, better receive? You get in touch with me on Facebook. But uh, we're going to show you again with one of these do and a lot of the 955s and a lot of other radios. With I didn't even check harmonics. We'll check that. But IMD, spurious emissions, etc. Okay, like you said, this one's out of the box. I already did kind of check it once. But uh, that's wide open power. The power is pretty low. That's a 100 watt slug. Well, let's look at it at 30 kilohertz. Now watch the scope and the spectrum analyzer all at the same time. I'm trying to get it where you can actually see it. I lowered the uh, intensity. Now that we're doing that, I'm going to do a test here real quick. And go to 6. watch the video see if that's any better I can get this camera right in here kind of cool and actually work but then you can't see the radio and like I always state with the Houdini's out there if you can't see the whole thing they're playing card tricks on you it doesn't matter what they claim all right and again if you watch the negative peaks the negative and the positive peaks have different ratios. Notice how the voltage is different, the positive versus the negative. 50 on the top, see it's, now it's 50 on the bottom. Anyways, let's look at the negative peaks. We almost hit 50%. Notice what happens. Some people have claimed it doesn't matter or there's not no loss of power. Yeah, there is. A lot. A lot of extra heat. A lot of extra heat. Anyways. Stick with the facts. Point one. All right. That's it. I'll let you get in there a little bit so you can focus on it some. And this is every single one of them. I'm just altering the tone right now. See it? there. Now I'm going to change the power on the radio. Now this is the sense of the input. Even barefoot that's going to make a big difference. You now let's get on out. That is if you want to stretch out every single mile that you can crystal clear and keep it cool. And have it last too. I move my camera and I can't find my buttons. There we go. Let me get this thing out of here. Now 
some people do and say anything. It's amazing. Well, we've all been around long enough to know how that goes. All right, so let's look at it at 30 megahertz. Here, we'll do it like this. Yeah, it looks really good. That's a timeout timer. So we get around 50% modulation. You see some IMD. Now we see out of band spurs. Power wide open. And with these the MOSFET radios, they're always lower than the fundamental. I haven't figured out exactly why they're always lower. But they're always lower. It could be the filtering, the traps to stop everything higher. But they're always lower. These things kind of come alive when you get them tuned in. So does the receive. I hope some of this was informative. You know who it is. If you're out there on those highways and byways, safety first. Don't forget, drivers. Get out there off your lazy ass and get them antenna systems repaired replaced new I sit here and guys send me all kinds of videos and you just pop up the videos of some of the dipshittest accidents I've ever seen if you had a radio and you were courteous conscientious of yourself your family and other people you'd be using a radio and not get stuck in traffic and maybe make it home to them safe too okay safety first Hard drive, 163, down by the Rio Grande. Las Cruces, New Mexico. Where's the damn button now? Shit, there it is.